Hello. In this video, we are going to calculate the pH of a solution of a basic salt, lithium nitrite. Our specific problem is as follows. We have a 0.22 molar solution of lithium nitrite and we are asked to calculate its pH. We can imagine the formation of lithium nitrite, a salt, as a reaction between the strong base lithium hydroxide and the weak acid, nitrous acid, HNO2, to give us the salt plus water. We recall that salts are strong electrolytes, that in aqueous solution they dissociate completely, and that is true for lithium nitrite. After dissolution in water, we get lithium ion plus the nitrite ion. We note that nitrite ion is the conjugate base of the weak acid nitrous acid, so it has weakly basic properties. It's going to interact with water to give us nitrous acid plus hydroxide ion. We can find, by looking up in a table, that the acid dissociation constant Ka of nitrous acid is equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 4. To calculate the Kb of nitrite ion, we recall that Kb is equal to Kw divided by the Ka of the conjugate acid. At 25 degrees centigrade, Kw, the dissociation constant for water, is 10 to the minus 14. Ka, we've already seen, is 4.0 times 10 to the minus 4. So this gives us the Kb of nitrite ion being 0.25 times 10 to the minus 10. And we're going to leave it in that form uh, because it would be pretty useful just to leave it the way it is without having to make any conversions at this time. So we remind ourselves of the reaction of nitrite ion acting as a base. And then we write our expression for the Kb, which is going to be the concentration of nitrous acid times the concentration of hydroxide. That's in the numerator times the concentration of nitrite ion in the denominator. Recall that water being a pure liquid or solid does not enter into the equilibrium constant expression. And then we set this Kb equal to 0 0.25 times 10 to the minus 10 because that's what we figured out that is going to be. Now we assign the variable x to the concentration of nitrous acid, which is identical to the concentration of hydroxide because in the reaction of nitrite ion, we get one nitrous acid and one hydroxide ion. At equilibrium, the concentration of nitrite ion is equal to its original value, 0.22 molar, minus the amount that uh, shifted to the right to form a nitrous acid and hydroxide ion. Once we substitute X into this KB expression, and our expression for the concentration of nitrite ion at equilibrium, we get that the Kb is equal to x squared over 0.22 minus x, and we know that its numerical value is 0.25 times 10 to the minus 10. Next, we assume that x is small compared to 0.22. The reason why we're going to do this is that we can then simplify the denominator of this fraction as simply 0.22. This saves us the difficulty of having to solve a quadratic equation. Later, once we determine a value for x, we will double check to make sure that this was a valid assumption. This reduces our problem to now x squared divided by 0.22 is equal to 0.25 times 10 to the minus 10. And we want to solve for the variable x. We can multiply each side by 0.22 and then we get this resulting expression, which we will solve by taking the square root of each side. Solving, we have that x is equal to 0 0.234 times 10 to the minus 5. We could write this as 2.34 times 10 to the minus 6, and note that this is equal to 2.2 times 10 to the minus 1. So it turns out that our value of x is 5 orders of magnitude smaller than 0 0.22. Typically, this will be a valid uh, approximation if x is less than 5% of the uh, larger value. So here it's much, much, much smaller, so that shows that we have made a valid assumption. 
we remind ourselves that the variable x was equal to the concentration of hydroxide ion. Since we want to find the pH, we want to first find the concentration of protons, H+, and recall that we can solve for this concentration. It's equal to the Kw, dissociation constant for water, divided by the concentration of hydroxide ions. Kw at 25 degrees centigrade is 10 to the minus 14. Our solved concentration of hydroxide ion is 0.234 times 10 to the minus 5. So that gives us that our proton concentration is equal to 4.26 times 10 to the minus 9. Finally, we're able to compute the pH. Recall that the pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So here it's going to be minus log of 4.26 times 10 to the minus line. And the pH here is found to be 8.4. Since we know that lithium nitrite is a basic salt, the fact that the pH is greater than 7 is a double check that we've performed our computations correctly. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Please stay safe out there. And as always, have a good one.